Virtual reality has been popularly discussed in 1935 through works of science fiction such as Stanley Weinbaum's Pygmalion Spectacles, where the story's main character wears a pair of goggles which transports him to a fictional world which stimulates his senses and features holographic recordings. Some consider this to be the origin of the VR concept, as this story was a good prediction of the aims and achievements of the future. In 1956, cinematographer Morton Helig created the first VR machine, Sensorama. The machine featured a large booth that combined multiple technologies to stimulate the senses. This included full-color 3D video, audio, vibrations, smell, and atmospheric effects. Helig thought Sensorama was the cinema of the future, which could fully immerse people in their films. In 1968, computer scientist Ivan Sutherland created the Sword of Damocles, which is widely considered to be the first VR head-mounted display. The head mount connected to a computer and showed the viewer simple 3D wired frames. These shapes would change perspective when the viewer turned their head through a tracking system. The project was never developed further beyond the lab as it was too heavy for users to comfortably wear. So what is VR today? Simply put, virtual reality is a reality that you experience that ultimately isn't real. Virtual reality systems commonly use a headset to generate realistic images, sounds and other sensations to make you feel like you're really in the virtual environment. VR can also be experienced without a headset in specially designed rooms with multiple large displays. Other forms of VR include augmented reality and mixed reality. The common VR headset consists of a head-mounted display with a small screen and often uses handheld controllers and speakers. These headsets don't function on their own, with many of them requiring either a compatible gaming console, personal computer, and the right application software. The most accessible VR headsets are the ones that only require your mobile phone, such as Google Cardboard or Samsung Gear. Other well-known brands on the VR market include the HTC Vive, Oculus Rift, and PlayStation VR. So what is AR? Augmented reality simply adds live digital elements that overlays reality. This is commonly achieved by using your smartphone device and camera. Some examples of AR we may use frequently are Snapchat filters, Google Translate, Google Maps that now come with live AR directions for walking, Pokemon Go and IKEA Place, which actually lets you preview how furniture will fit and look in your space before you decide to buy it. Virtual reality has also been utilized for therapeutic reasons, which can be seen in aged care facilities. Residents can experience travel and other activities through VR that they otherwise couldn't in real life. VR has also helped seniors therapeutically for dementia that's been proven to boost mental stimulation, speech and social engagement. Virtual reality has been mainly popularized by the film and gaming industries, but it's also been utilized in other industries for job training purposes. VR tech provides various training simulations for many job sectors, including the military, automotive, and medical industries. VR simulations provide a more immersive learning experience with significantly reduced risks and danger. Virtual reality can also be experienced through artistic purposes with software such as Google Tilt Brush, which lets you create art in a virtual 3D space. Virtual reality has the potential to become a new form of media and be a part of our daily lives. Augmented reality has already achieved this with apps like Google Translate and IKEA Place that are readily accessible for us to use and make our lives easier. VR has a long way to go before it can become a part of our waking lives, much like augmented reality. For one, the technology needs to become more streamlined, eliminating the bulkiness of both the headset and controllers. Companies like HTC, Oculus and Panasonic have announced prototypes and concept designs that cater to a more sleeker design choice. These designs signal what the future of VR could look like and we can expect to see VR become a tad more stylish and maybe even more accessible in the future to come.